Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Season 14 of the RV Man LP Exhibitions and River City Melee Mock. This game has been out since 2015 and it is a spiritual successor to Crash of the Boys or in Japan, the River City Sports Challenge games. And by it being a spiritual successor, instead of you combating people during Olympic events, you're actually going on a forum for, well, a uh, four-way battle royale where teams of six pick one member to face off against each other. Or should I say four teams of six picks one member, they face off against each other, and it goes to either the highest score or a clean sweep victory, one of the two. There's about 30 teams in this game, and that's a lot of teams to be honest. Some of these teams may make a returning appearance, others are exclusively here. I know for a fact that there are going to be a good number of people also from the soccer game, which is basically World Cup USA. Unlike that also being a sports challenge game that has been reaped up by uh, Technos. Or should I say, translated by Technos to make all the teams instead of high school students, they're like, um, world teams, basically. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I've already picked my team, the, Han Zono, the Hanazono High School team. Which, by the way, has Riki as the leader of the team. If you guys remember, I played as Alex in River City Ransom, who, by the way, is also uh, Kunio in the Japan games. So it's all fair and good, and I also played as both Miso Misako, Kyoko, Kunio, and Riki from River City Girls. So quite frankly, this is practically my third River City game that I have for the channel. I'm gonna try not to, like, fill the whole... I'll eventually play, like, just about every game if I can get my hands on it. But I'll try to sparse things out. Because there are other games I want to play, too. Meanwhile... What's happening on screen, this event literally is the spiritual successor to this, to Crash of the Boys because Murikata was supposedly the main villain of Crash of the Boys. I still need to practice on that game, it's been a while since I played it, but whatever the case, <clears throat> he's hired teams of professionals to uh, try to defeat Kunio and Riki in uh, sports games, but unfortunately Kuno Kunio Riki won, and that meant Munikata was almost disowned by his father. So yeah. This is another one of his dastardly plans. So he's beating up on students, and more importantly, he has um sicked the Tiger Gang on Kunio and Riki. This is from Riki's point of view, so he's pretty pissed off that his, um... Students, or well, his fellow, uh, peers are being beaten up by the Tiger Gang. So on that note... He's gathered a couple of guys to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in this tournament so they can find out who's responsible for the jumpings. And on that note... They need their sixth member. And also, Nishino, somebody else's girlfriend, has been kidnapped. Primarily Maida. So, Maida is actually jumping in because it's not a race. So now, they need to get their sixth member involved, which is Yoshino. Don't worry, he's going to be involved without us having to control it. However, he has a Porto Mag. That would be the best way to get anybody to in to join in on a uh, tournament where you're pretty much battling like four other people. Or should I say four other, no, three other teams full of six people. 
So with that said, their team of six is about to take on other teams of six. And sometimes these rounds can take like maybe two rounds or it could actually be five rounds. All depends on whether or not your overall score is the highest or whether you're still tight with other teams. So bear that in mind when you're playing this game. So on that note, the action may seem intense in the demonstration, but it's far more demon far more um it's far more insane than this. And somebody has to drink! No! Oh god, and having a Hadoukens too! Dear Lord! Didn't expect Hadoukens to be here. Hey, stop that! Ouch! Can you not punch me in the face or spin around like that? So I have to pay attention to the scoreboard, because right now, even though I'm leading, the more attacks the enemies do, the more their score increases. So I gotta make sure that I get health. No! You asshole! Damn it! And then I got chopped! Ouch! And I got hit by a... And I got hit by a straight punch. Yeah, so far so good. I'm winning. Just not by health. Watch it, though. I'm winning health wise. And point wise. And that's all that matters. Well, until that guy keeps spamming the Hadouken. If we get out that dirty Hadouken spammer, we'll actually win this. Hey, stop it! Let go of me. Hey! Oh, wait, that's not me. Never mind. Yeah, I got one of them. Brass nuts for the win. Hold on, I, I forgot how to pick the guy up. Darn it. Oh, I got the spammer out the way. Now for the remainder. Good. Yes, I will stun gun you. Or cattle prod you. Yes. I am Scott Hall and you are Goldberg. Take this cattle prod. And for those who were lost on that reference, that was a WCW reference. Whatever the case, I think I've won this one. One more hit, and he's done. Down! There we go! And I got a high score. So all we need to do is just keep it up from there. So on that note... Let's see, uh... Um, I'll pick that guy. And by the way, I did actually turn off my phone, but unfortunately I hear the silent ringer. Well, the semi-silent ringer. I turned it down to a little bit so I'll be able to hear partially what's going on. And, uh, and you may not hear it in a microphone, but I did turn down the uh, ringer a little bit. So that way I'll be able to find out what's going on and check on things because sometimes important people call me sometimes they don't so on that note i'm gonna pause this right here sorry about that i almost slipped and fell off my bed there that's why i went there and stopped the recording but anyway i'm using share factory to actually record the uh commentary off of so I'm giving it an experiment here. I might do this more often with any PS4 games I can record on Share Factory, and might not. Just checking it out. But for right now, it looks like I don't know what this guy's moves are. Oh, right, he's... Oh, he's the guy who steps on people. Never mind, never mind. And he's a... And I think he's a throw specialist. So on that note... I'll just beat up everybody here and hopefully get that can of health so I can regain my energy. I'm gonna pick this up and... Yes! Wait, that's not health! That's Red Bull! Oh, crap! Why did I get Red Bull? Oh, no! I've got the runs! No! I thought that was health! Wow, he really did toss that guy in midair. That's okay, that's okay. 
I'm gonna at least have to feel dead with these guys. Whoa! Every time I hear that noise, it sounds like something bad's about to happen. I mean, I've played enough uh, World Cup soccer to realize that when you hear that noise, that shit's going down unless you're the one doing it. And that guy right there with the with the bicycle kick, that is annoying. Hold on, let's just toss it to get him. And I'll just keep tossing stuff at him until he's dead. Hold on. Uh-oh, I'm almost dead. That takes care of him. Now for you. No! No! Ah, darn it. We need one more round to settle this. Or, maybe not. Okay. I think we've won and everybody's pirouetting out of screen. Okay, I hereby dub that the pirouette of doom. And, ah, oh, I barely won. Wow. Alright, next fight. I'm trying to understand that there's a threshold of points we need, but one thing is for sure. We just need to win a couple of matches. As I just saw, I can lose and still win the challenge. As long as I get enough points. So, let's see. Yoshino, Washio. Uh, who shall I pick? Oh, I like this guy. He's got Grand Slam too. So let's do that. Let's pick him. Alright. Like I said, this is once again the first time I've actually used this headphone set. So I'm testing it out. I mean, it's a new headphone set. And it's not really my, uh, actual good mic. That's near my, uh, laptop right now. So that's why the audio may sound a little bit different for you guys. So let me know in the comment section on how it actually sounds. But Grand Slam is absolutely fantastic. And that guy just went into orbit. Oh, was that me? Nope. That was them. I'm the one with the bowling ball. I just need to hold them down for a little bit and just beat them down until I actually win. Look at the points I'm racking up though. That is ridiculous. Grand Smash 2 is insane. But you gotta be careful, there's other skills you gotta worry about. Like for instance, Mizuzu. Yes, Mizuzu is here, and she has the bitch slap of doom. But that's okay, I've made 346 points. So we just got to make sure that I come out on top. Well, my team comes out on top of the most score, so... If you see if there's multiple matches, that's because of the fact that there's a four-way tie somewhere in the middle of the match. So it's time to fight! Ooh! Okay, that's a medium-sized conch. Normally when you see that conch, if it's a, uh, a white one, I think it shrinks you. But if it's a, uh, a green one, it raises you up to medium size. And I do believe the yellow one makes you extra large. So that's all I know. And once again, there's barbells there. So I might as well pick those up, or just pick up something else. And of course, the Irish Whip. Not the Irish Whip, the Ugg. Uh, I meant to say the Giant Swing. That actually is effective, and you can do that too. And if you do, you can actually combo off of it if you're if you got a character that can pull that off. Stats mean everything. Man, I feel sorry for the guys who's flying in air right now. They're getting devastated. I would feel sorry for them, but unfortunately I have to win a tournament, you know? Hey, hey! No, no! Damn it! You are not gonna get me! And I missed the uppercut. 
Damn it! Come on, we got this. We got this. There we go. And somehow I ended up in first place. Well, that guy had more points than I did. And I'm pretty sure that every time I win is a bonus 100 points, so I think that might be the case. So I think there is a win bonus. I'll have to look into it. But for right now, we need to beat up more people. And I've got Midas, so... Let's just grab a lightsaber and start swinging! I have the high ground! By the way, this game came out in 2015. So, yeah! This is way before River City Girls. And this would make it the... I think the third River City game I've played for the channel? So, yeah! Very interesting fact! Honestly, I should play Crash of the Boys for the channel, but uh, I need practice on that. Yeah, just keep stopping that guy. Hey, hey, get off me! Well, I've just been used as a weapon to knock out somebody else. And that's gonna happen in this game. Yeah, just be careful. There's no Bowser bombs. Actually, no, there is somewhat of a Bowser side type move in this game. And that's if you run into the Tiger Twins. They have a spinning pile driver and they can actually accidentally knock you off of the cliff. That has happened to me before. So there is that. Well, one guy's gone. I still got the rest of them to deal with. Hey, stop that. I'll just beat him on a stick. Damn it. Well, my plan of beating him with a stick is not working! That guy is rolling around like he's... well... Like he's blocked, I think. Oh man, I better be careful or I'll be knocked out. Well, that guy's almost dead. I got this. I got this. Hold on, let's knock him down. There we go! And I barely came out of that, because somebody had 200! And... We won! Alright! I love how even the boys and girls do the pirouette of doom. Because I think there were a couple of girls on that team. Yeah, there are two of them, actually. In the words of Kazuma, Gender equality! If a girl hits me, I'm not going to be afraid to trap kick her! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, in this game, that's kind of the case. You can drop kick a girl if they hit you first. But uh, in real life, not so much. On that note, let's just keep going. Now then. I think the threshold is... A first to a thousand, I believe? If I'm mistaken. Ooh, but I like this area. And I also like the theme songs of this, of this game. They have remakes of certain River City Ransom themes. And this right here is a remake of Renegade. As a matter of fact, that too is the... is one of the first River City Ransom games in, uh... to actually come to America. I think there's one of three. No, wait, rephrase that, one of four. So we got Crash of the Boys, and that was remade. No, that was re... dubbed, basically. And, oh, shit. It's all well and good until somebody pulls out the barbells. Oh no. That, by the way, is a little thing off of Renegade as well. And you have to make sure that, uh... If you had the barbells, to make sure nobody else had them, because Mizuzu would normally be the one to have them. Hold on. Beat him up. Hey, nope, nope. Stop jumping. I just need to keep this guy on his, off of his feet. And oh, never mind. I was about to say I was needed to keep that guy off of his feet, but unfortunately that's not the case. 
And I'm paying attention to my controller after all. Even though it's connected to the uh, PS4, there's a good chance this microphone is draining its battery. I wouldn't be surprised, and if so, I would have to switch controllers. And that takes care of this battle. Alright. Next battle, we're gonna get the guy with the... Hold on, not you. You literally suck. So let's get... Uh, we might as well get him. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to get him. But God, Shimano su I mean, Shimizu sucks. Seriously. And I don't think there's any way to make them stronger either. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but there's one thing you can quote me on. Having a baseball bat is fun. Don't believe me, ask most of the Smash players. And falling off the cliff is hazardous to your health. Honest to God, you could actually loop certain characters, well, loop certain players into a uh, endless loop where you baseball them off of the conveyor belt. By the way, this stage should look familiar to all of you. A Bobo, anyone? For those of you who played the original Double Dragon, excuse me, I'm getting the hiccups here. Just knock them off into the conveyor belt and just, uh... Oh, God damn it! He turned my damn baseball bat into a soccer ball! Oh, well, time to get a new weapon. Ooh, even better. A weight. Or... Or is that a hammer? That works, too. I thought there was something with that hammer. Like, it, it's supposed to be a hammer throw and it actually does harder. No, it actually does more damage, but I think that's only for certain uh, characters. But I still won nonetheless. And I've got the highest score so far. Uh, why not? Let's just. I think we should get Kunio for this one. Or we can get somebody else. Oh, well, just. No, I, I, why do I keep confusing that with. Kunio, it's Riki. I got his team, not Kunio's. And I think all of his, all of Kunio's team is a lot more balanced. So on that note, oh no, somebody came with a boxing glove. Yep, it starts. Nope, nope. Ouch. Yes. A Megaton sure you can for the win! Let me grab this face. Let me grab this uh weight right here and just toss it at you. Hey, get off me! Wait, was that a heat seeking base Wait, was that a heat seeking boxing glove? What the fuck? That's a lot of things to be said about this game. And there goes that one. There goes those guys. I might just turn the tide here. Wait, is he trying to light himself on... Okay, he, he tried to turn himself to a bomb. Well, he's done. And now... He's done too. Although he wanted points, I still won the match as a survivor. We've got one more round because it's a four-way tie right now. So let's do this. Again, it all depends on how many points you get by the end of the round. Even if you lose out all of your matches, you get the most points, you'll still win. That also has happened to me before. So on that note, time for the fourth round. Alright, let's begin. Now then, I had that bat, so let's put it to good use. Damn it. Oh, I have an aura swing. 
That makes the, the bat twice as strong. Oh god! Why? Why did I fell off the conveyor belt? Screw it. I tried to hit him. Ouch! Seriously! Stop turning weapons into soccer ball! Ouch! Yeah, that also, by, by the way, I just want to point out that um, some of the weapons that are turning into soccer balls, I think it's an homage to World Cup Soccer, where you have a heat-seeking soccer ball. Ooh, lightsaber! Oh man! Ow! God! I feel sorry for that guy who got clobbered there! Boom! That's what's up! And hold on, we're almost done here! Ouch! Ha! Ah, still alive, bitches! And I threw the bat! I'm an idiot! Wait, no, I'm not. I think I may win this. Yes! Alright. I think this may be the final round. We're gonna have to come back on him. Because, again, this is a three way tie. And actually, it's a multiple way tie. That's probably why there's so many events going on right now. So on that note, this may be the tiebreaker. Ooh, baseball bat! Ouch! What in God's name just happened? I just got knocked clear across the camp! Never mind. I have a baseball bat. Boom! Ha ha! For the fences! Yeah, look at me! I'm the Houston Astros! Oh, I, I, I shouldn't say that. Because we all know what happened with that team. I was about to say I'm the Houston Astros and those guys are the Orioles, but uh... Then I'm gonna have to use a trash can! Just saying! But... In all honesty... This bat is really powerful, and it's doing a good work getting rid of all of the, well, problems, and oh, wait, never mind. I have a lot of health, considering the fact that I just won, and almost, and almost lost that one that time. Let's see. We'll probably win this by a unanimous decision, because we won just about every fight. In that round. No, actually, no. We won every fight in that round. And we won by a thousand. Like I said, this was a three-way... A four-way tie. If it wasn't for that, we'd still be going. Or rather, we probably would have lost. One of the two. <laughs> anyway. We're here... And it seems we've got ourselves our intermission match. Like I said, we have about at least five or six matches in this entire game. It all depends on whether or not, one, you have a certain team, or two, you don't. Because I think Sabo only had about, maybe, five matches, I do believe. No, way, he had six, never mind. Whatever the case, we've got the Tiger Brothers to deal with. And they're actually part of a team. And they're a team of wrestlers, if I'm not mistaken, and I just mentioned that earlier. So with that said, hold on one second. Sorry about that, I thought this was a phone call, but instead, it was some prank caller. Anyway, let's get ready, folks. And we're going to take on the Double Tiger Brothers. It's a two-on-two -two fight, so at least there's that. I forgot to mention this game also has a co-op option. 
So it wouldn't take long for us to win. For the most part. There's still the matter of, well... The other two-on-two -two fight. But we'll get to that once we get there. Now, these guys are supposed to be the bosses. So obviously they're gonna have special moves. Like most of the people on this game is gonna take on the Tiger Brothers. With the exception of the Tiger Brothers. They're pretty strong and as you can hardly see, that move right there they just did would more than likely knock you off of a cliff. Because of look at uh, because of the way it's landing. If you don't see a drop saddle, you're going off of a cliff. And trust me, there's a cliff here. And I just accidentally dropped my bat right off of the cliff. Like an idiot. These guys are pretty tough. So I'm just gonna beat them down with a tire. Yeah, yeah, roll off the cliff. That makes my job a lot easier. That takes care of him. Ouch. Come on. Ouch! No! Oh, well, there goes my teammate. Well, there goes me, actually. That was me! Oh, shit! It's all on you, Ricky. You can do this. Finish him off! We've got this, man. We've got this. And he... And, uh, okay! I'm gonna take it! I'm gonna take it! He just flipped right off the cliff. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> on that note... That should take care of those guys for now. And then we have... I think two more fights after this. So, with that said... I think it's high time you guys went on your merry way, because... Despite you being tough, you're not bad guys. Oh, and, and look at Yoshino, I mean... That dude looks like he has seen some things. You can just tell, man. He's he's strung on something. So on that note, uh, Yoshino, honest to God, forgot that there was a important detail that the Tiger Brothers aren't responsible for the attacks, just on Riki, just but not on everybody else. By the way, the stage we're here, we're in, that's also a battle arena, and you can also fall in the water, too. So on that note, the mystery man shows up, and he's the guy responsible for all the attacks. That is Mia Kasaki. And sadly, we're going to have to deal with him now. Yep, I also had to make a cut because I literally left this on and had to help my sister with something. I forgot to pause the recording and start it all over again. So on that note, he's going to be a single fight. It's practically going to be a one-on-one -on -one battle. I'm pretty sure you can also have that in outside of story mode. I'm not sure, but I know you can have tag teams and... Fatal four ways, but I'm not sure about one on one. So, on that note, let's go on ahead and get uh, Mashio. No, Washio. Uh, I've already mentioned this name, and I've already forgot it. God damn, my mind is terrible. And Nishi knows the MC. Sorry, my bad. Alright. Let's pick this, uh... Let's pick that ball up and beat him up with it. Or the kind of stick, doesn't matter. Alright. Hey, hey, stop that! Hey, stop that! Hey, no, stop! I want this. Oh, and also he's going to do that stupid drop kick that actually does some damage. 
Oh, we've got a maracas and a bottle of hot sauce. I think that, uh... I think the red means that, uh... You took hits, but also you're infuriated or something like that. I mean, I haven't actually looked throughout the game's instruction manual, but one thing is for sure. If you're red like that, just expect to see you start spamming, uh... Moves like that. I'm gonna throw you off of the cliff. Off the cliff you go! Jerk! Aha! And we won! Enjoy the climb back up, bitch! And pirouette off of to existence! Ah yes, the pirouette of doom! We only got one more match left! And I'm glad I made enough points to actually win that fight, because sometimes even though I could beat the guy again, they can win by points. Uh oh. There's the rest of the crew. I guess we have to beat the game with every last person in order to unlock these guys. So, on that note, it's time for us to take him down. And that's the main villain! Munakata Yuji. He was the main villain of the sports games, and now, he's the main villain here. I'm surprised Yamada didn't make an appearance in the sports games. So, whatever the case, we're gonna beat him up in the final battle, which is going to be a Team Round Robin. Basically, three teams of two is going to have to fight to the finish and hopefully win. So on that note, let's finish this. And Wu Wan Fu is going to be our main opponent. And it turns out that these guys are also the ones responsible for, uh, Pretty much setting up this tournament and beating up people. But don't take these guys lightly, because they've got some seriously cheap moves. Again, I haven't beaten the game with everybody yet. But one thing is perfectly clear. Since they're the bosses, obviously they're going to have very cheap and very powerful moves. So let's do this. We're gonna need three teams of six, meaning Shimano, I mean, Shimizu will actually fight. Much to my horror and dismay. And we've got, uh... Tsubaki and Munakata as our first opponents. And these guys are normally one of the cheaper of the... Actually, the whole team is cheap. They all have three moves. Yeah, I'm going to pretty much abuse! By God, I will definitely abuse the, uh, Grand Slam. If I can make this quick, I will. Hold on. Hey, hey, stop jumping around like an idiot. I'm gonna grab that baseball. Oh! That heel kick! <laughs> and I just chucked a baseball at his head. Fantastic! I love this game so much! However, I gotta be careful of the score, cause every time he does that stupid kick and it actually lands, it'll actually raise their score up more. Hey, nope! You will not raise your score up anymore! Now to take care of you, and now for the other. Stop that! Yes, dive right into the tire. Ah, man, I really wish we had the garbage can here. That would actually turn the tide on things. But we've got that one, so we're done. 
All right, next team. And I would pre I would suggest keep getting fresh members, cause going in with members who are already been beaten, that's a surefire way to lose. So on that note, I guess we can use him. Oh God, he's gonna die. Kind of don't have a choice, you know, cause I really don't want to go in with weak characters. Even though I just did. Alright. Those guys seem to be really powerful. And that roll is something to not take lightly. Hey, stop throwing... I was about to say, stop throwing the, uh, weapons around, but, uh... I just went and did that! Oh! That's his ability! Hey, what the fuck did you do that for?! That's okay, we'll just chuck them at the guys. It'll do more damage if it hits them, instead of actually just punching them a few times. Yeah. Just keep using Fatal Steps, man. We've got this. And we're almost done. That takes care of one. Now for the other one. And I just got knocked off of the cliff. Thank you. Thank you. But we still won. Uh, I guess... Saotome? Okay, Yoshino and Saotome. Hopefully we'll win this! And hopefully I don't get knocked off the cliff again! Ooh! There's a grenade! Well, that just... <laughs> that just gave us a head start! But... Unlike with, uh... The grenades that showed up in the, uh, stage... They're like a rarity? Um... Sabosman, one of them at least, can constantly spam a grenade. And that is actually pretty tough to deal with unless you actually beat him up before he throws a grenade. I just need to keep those guys grounded. Or just keep electrocuted one on the two. That aura punch is actually doing some sort of number. And I just... Accidentally electrocuted my partner, didn't I? Yes, I did. I am an idiot. Come on, we got this. There's one. What the hell? Oh, right, that move. That's supposed to confuse your controller. Ooh. That ought to take care of that. Nah, we ain't dealing with that crap. And with that said, we've won at least three rounds in a row, so guess what? We win by a landslide and let them pirouette off into the ether. That's the end of the tournament, and goddamn that we over- we just kicked their asses. Wow. And that should take care of them. And it finally dawned on Mudikata that the power of friendship is what won. No, actually, I, I doubt that seriously. It's the fact that you guys suck. And our team just luckily happened to be stronger than yours. Oh, that and the fact that you guys constantly jumped off the cliff, too. That, that also helped. So on that note... It turns out... Riki finally forgives Munikata. And with that said, he was that what that said, um Mishino was paid decently to MC the whole entire event. And it turned out that's what Washio was worried about, his girlfriend. But whatever the case. It was all a tournament for, well, publicity. 
depending on the ending that is. In a different ending, uh, Munekane's group pretty much outright sabotages um, Sabo and his gang to get revenge on Kunio. So that basically had to be the ending for them. But here, they were planning on getting, uh... Oh boy. They were planning on getting some escorts from Munikari to accept the apology, but unfortunately, Shimada, ya Mommy's friend, just happened to catch them. So, oops. But nonetheless, folks, that's the end of River City Melee Mod. This is a pretty fun game, a pretty frantic beat em up. You have, like, more than one player, or at least four players. You will see how chaotic this could get. I mean, the computers themselves are pretty dumb in intelligence. Unless they're spamming moves against you, then they could be really tough. But, if you actually find how, how to do the moves and perform them well, and more importantly, get a person that you're well equated with, or at least a whole team of people that you're well acquainted with, you'll pretty much do just fine in this game. It's a pick up and play game. Granted, the difficulty is really, really high at some points. At the same time, not so much when it comes down to actually, uh, going on to a complete and total, uh, domination tear here. But at the end of the day, you have 30 teams to play, and sometimes you want to try to take a break. Because learning the moves actually hurts your fingers. And not to mention, it also requires the D-pad as well, not just the uh, analog sticks. So, I've had my fun. And let's be honest, folks, this is just the beginning. Yeah, this is a really long part, but I have one thing to say. It gets better from here, because... They're going to be games shorter than what I'm playing now. Again, I'm randomly playing games left and right. But again, I love this game so much. I mean, I wish that you could actually upgrade your characters. That's a missed opportunity. But that's not the case. But still, it's fine the way it is. At least it's not Kobayashi-san. That game was terrible. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, this game comes to an end, and so does this episode of the Arvyman LPX Divisions. Season 14 is coming off to a great start. Well, not really too many people if I don't get enough views, but still, it's all well and good. But, all good things must come to an end when it comes down to this game. So next time, on the next episode of the Arvyman LP Exhibition, somebody left a dare for me to play another level in Mega Man Maker, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you guys next week.